So here we have a chemical formula for nickel tetracarbonyl, and uh, they give us a little bit of background about it. And it says a chemical engineer has determined by measurements that there are 47 moles of carbon in this sample of this substance. How many moles of oxygen are in the sample? Well, in order to figure out how many moles of oxygen are in the sample, we need to find the mole ratio of carbon to oxygen. So we get that from the chemical formula for this substance. When I look here, I see that there, there are uh, in one, this is ionic compound, so I'm going to say in one formula unit of this, there are, uh, looks like four oxygen atoms, and there are also four carbon atoms. So, four oxygen atoms for every four carbon atoms. What's the mole ratio? Well, the mole ratio would be four moles of oxygen for every four moles of carbon. Why is this the same as this? Because a mole of anything is the same number. Just like a dozen oxygen atoms would be 12, um, and a dozen carbon atoms would be 12, a mole of oxygen atoms is 6.02 2 times 10 to the 23, and it's the same for carbon. So if I have an equal number of atoms of oxygen and carbon, I also have an equal number of moles. So here is our mole ratio. Four moles of oxygen, four, four moles of carbon. We can simplify that to one, one if we want, but I'm going to leave it for, for, for simplicity, uh, simplicity's sake. So we have 47 moles of carbon in this sample. So we have a whole lot of this. I want to know how many moles of oxygen are in the sample. You may already guess what the answer is, but let's go ahead and do the conversion. I need the mole ratio to help me to do this conversion because I'm converting from moles of carbon to moles of oxygen. I'm converting from one substance to another. In order to do this, um, co to convert from amounts of one substance to convert um, to amounts of another substance, I need the mole ratio. The mole ratio tells me that for every four moles of carbon in this substance, I have four moles, an equal number of moles of oxygen. So 47 times four divided by four is 47. So I have an equal number of moles.